Adding inventory to Lot Wizard using the Nix sequential stock number method. First, let's go up to Options and let's make sure Generate Stock Number has a check beside it. And also make sure Auto Update Inventory List has a check beside it. Then, we're going to go over to the Maintenance and come down to Dealership Information. Once the Dealership Information window opens, we're going to go down to the bottom. You'll notice it says Nix Sequential Stock Number. This is a starting point, and I'm going to start my stock numbers at 001. Then, make sure the last digits of the VIN is set to 0, and click OK. After that, you're going to go to the far right, come down to the Inventory Detail tab, which is the second one from the bottom. Once the Inventory Detail tab opens the window, you're going to go to the bottom left. Here's a green addition sign. It says Add New. Anytime you add a new vehicle at a lot wizard, you want to make sure you click Add New. Once you click Add New, you'll notice the stock number is 001. You're going to come down and add a purchase date. I'm going to use the calendar to the right of the text box. I'm going to choose yesterday's date, December 9th. If you notice, it puts a 1 to the right of the calendar. This is the number of days that the vehicle has been on your lot. Then you're going to come down to the VIN and type in a VIN. I want to paste the VIN in. Once you tap out of the VIN, it'll decode the car. And then you're going to come down, fill in any additional information that you need to. And once you're satisfied, you're going to come down to the bottom left and click Save. Now to add us the next vehicle, you want to make sure that you click Add New at the bottom left again. And if you notice, the stock number is Nix sequential number, 002. And again, you come down and add a purchase date. I'm going to use a calendar. Today's date is December 10th. And you place the VIN in. I'm going to paste it in. After you're done typing the VIN in, you tab out of it, and it'll decode the VIN. You come down to the bottom left and click Save. We have now just entered two cars into inventory using the Nix sequential stock number method. To verify this, we can go to the far right, come down to the very last tab, Inventory List, and you'll notice we have two cars in our inventory with a stock number of 001 and 002. This is how you add cars into your inventory using the Nix sequential stock number method.